Hi everyone, this is Cindy Crane with the Heart, and I am back with my project for week two of the um, Grow Your Stash collab. So the idea behind this collab, it's hosted by Mandy's Place, is to create um, little packets of embellishments that you can have on hand, either to create or to put in happy mail. But all of us who are participating in the collab, we are supposed to create a new embellishment every week, um, give you an idea on how to make it and how to package it. So this week I am making rolled flowers. Got all these different ones. Um, I'm using two different dies, actually three different dies. I'm using this one, which is the Rustic Cottage Aged Rose Die. It's um, by Sarah Davies from the Crafter's Companion. And that's this die right here. That's this one that I'm gonna roll. And then I'm also using this one right here, which is from uh, My Creative Time. It's the rolled flowers. They come with the two dies right here. And I have a third one. I didn't use this one. These are the tiny ones. I might be using this for a different project, but not this one. So I, usually recommend using a quilling tool. It just makes it a little easier, but my quilling tool broke. So it broke today. So you can easily make these with your with your um, hands. The thing about it is I personally am not big on the really tight rows. So not having a quilling tool is not a big deal for me. The main thing when you're rolling bottom even you you want to make sure that when you're rolling it that it's even on the bottom you don't want to uh, roll it and have it you know start getting all wonky on you because then it'll be really hard for you to complete the flower the other thing that you need is a hot glue gun I mean yeah you can use other adhesive but you'd really need to use something like something a little sticky that's kind of like hot glue like zig or fabri -Tac or something, you know, like that. I just wrap those. Okay, so this round piece right here is where you're going to put your glue. Now, I like to kind of have my rows kind of come apart a little bit. I don't like it too tight in the middle. And then I kind of squeeze the ends a little bit so that um, I can go ahead and get all of the glue on there. So I've got my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to put... Um, some glue right here and I just kind of press down and I make sure to press it was hot press down in the middle part as well to make sure that that part sticks and it's okay if it's slightly loose because it'll just get a unique look all my all of mine look a little bit different like this one right here has got a little bit of a, um, like a scalloped type edge. And I think that's this die right here. This one is, is that end. So they all look a little bit different. I think this one right here is this one right here. You can see it's a little bit pointy at the edges. That's nice. So once it kind of gets, it doesn't take very long. Um, then I, you can go back with uh, something that you can go ahead and shape your flowers. I just bend them out and the paper bends pretty easily. Um, the Prima paper that I use, that scrap right here, um, it's a similar thickness to this cardstock. It's not a super thick cardstock, but it's not super thin either. It's just kind of a medium weight. And you just roll your flowers. And, you know, I looked on the Crafters Companion website and on YouTube for some kind of a video on making these flowers and there was absolutely nothing to make this rustic rose. So I wasn't even exactly sure like how, you know, how it, it rolled and, you know, so anyway, no worries. I just kind of played around with it and um, all my flowers look a little bit different, which is fine. Okay, so once you kind of roll it, now um, I couldn't find, I ha had a fine tip for my art glitter bottle, but I can't find it because I don't like um, clumps of glitter. 
So I opted to use um, stickles instead of loose glitter. So I mo mainly used the silver and the crystal. So the silver I did um, on the black ones and then I have some white, well they're like the opposite side of this paper, they're like this side I use the silver for, um, but I use the crystal on the pink. So you just go through and you just decide, you know, where you want to have your glue and it doesn't have to be everywhere. You can just kind of pick and choose where you want it. And then you just set it aside and let it dry. I'm going to unplug my glue gun because it's the last thing I'm going to do tonight. And it's very hot. Okay, so once you've made your roses and they've dried, don't take the stickles don't take too long if you don't clump it up too much. Then we got to decorate it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a card. It's just a, a piece of cardstock put to paper. And I'm just using a, ooh, a little um, foam square. I mean, you could use a glue dot, something that's not going to um, stick too much so that you can pull it off and, and use it without it um, breaking. So, and the thing about using the, um, the hot glue and then the stickles, it does make a pretty strong flower. It's pretty, pretty strong. This one's got one already on there. And one more here. Okay, so almost ready to show you exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, so I've got my group of roses. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got this card box. I've had this card box forever. I can't remember exactly where I got it from. So you just kind of, um, it's already scored. It's like a strong, like acetate, like a packaging kind of weight to this. And so you just kind of bend it and make your, make your box. And I'm just going to kind of bend on the score lines on this box so I can go ahead and put it in. Oh, give me a second. All right. So I've got my box. I'm going to slide this in. And this way it kind of gives a little extra protection to my flowers so that they won't get crushed. And there we go. And then I'm just going to create a little uh, quick belly band. So let's see. I need to snip a little bit off of here because it's a little bit long. So I'm going to put a little bit of, of um, double-sided tape. This is not score tape. It's just a double-sided tape. So it's not super strong. And it'll come off the acetate fairly easy. So then we're going to put that on there. Okay. And so then you just create your little strip right there. And then on top of the strip, where did it go? I have, oh, here it is. I just used a piece of um, the cut aparts from this Prima collection. I'm going to trim it down a little bit because um, I didn't cut it really well, but I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to put that on there and just put a couple strips and then I'll show you all the ones that I made for my second week embellishment. I have no idea what I'm going to do for my 
third week. I have a couple of things in mind. Okay. And then that just goes right there. So here I have a cute little package that I could put in the mail as a little um, happy mail for someone. And here are all the ones that I made. So I made um, all of these with the flowers that I made. And there we go. So just a really fun way to package, a little bit different way to package your um, happy mail. And now I've got some things ready to go if I would like to, you know, do a happy mail um, mailing. I've got some things right here. So make sure that you watch all the other ladies because um, these videos are bound to be fun because they're going to give you all kinds of different ideas on embellishments that you can make and then different ways to package them. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy with Crane with the Heart.